Hi guys. Okay, it's time to add our background. Using our color wheel, we see that our main subject is basically blues to purples. Therefore, our complementary colors should be yellow to oranges. We'll start by loading our flat brush full of water and painting the entire canvas from the bottom up, filling it completely with water. Then, using our primary colors only, we'll mix our yellow-orange background. We will use a tinge of blue just to give it a more rustic brown color. Always mix your paints from the lightest color and adding your darker values very slowly in order to build up. So your first layer of paint should be very light yellow-orange. Starting from the bottom and working your way up, make long strokes to avoid any stroke marks being left in the middle of the painting. Make sure and keep adding water as this will cause your colors to blend. Your canvas must remain nice and moist for the entire process, so every once in a while add some water. I am using an acrylic paper right now, but you could use this same method on your canvas. When the first layer is done, increase your value by adding more of the red and a little more of the blue. When you're painting, don't forget the five basic questions. Does it need more yellow? Does it need more red? Does it need more blue? Does it have to be lighter? Does it have to be darker? Apply those five questions to any painting you're doing and you'll be amazed at how easy you can mix your colors to get exactly what you want. As you paint, bear in mind that you want a lighter top and a darker bottom to imply a sky and a base. This will give your painting background some fluidity. For this demonstration, I have stuck my acrylic paper down with tape. This would not be necessary if I was using a canvas, but the paper warps with the amount of water I have to use, so tape will prevent that. Take your time and gradually build your colors as you go, always starting from lighter to darker nice long even strokes to avoid any stroke marks in the middle of the painting. You can add more yellows, more reds, or a bit more blue to get the exact shading you wish for the background. Remember, these are poster colors, so they will dry lighter than the initial color. You can leave it to dry, or in this case, blow dry it to hasten the process. And you're all done. And that's your quick and easy background. Don't forget to send me images of your completed work and let's see how it looks. Okay guys, you have a good day. God bless.